This video is on how to um, distinguish between the three different TV cards we've got in the district and to make sure you've got the right drivers uh, installed for the TV card in question. Now, um, two of them look very, very similar. In fact, use the same software, but they have to have different drivers set up. And one of them looks completely different than the other one. So we'll start with that one. Uh, this is the Easy TV card. It's the only one with two plugs on the uh, back of the TV card. So when you go uh, to a teacher's PC, if you see two plugs on the back of the TV card, you immediately know that you have an Easy TV TV card. There should be a cable going from the green plug on the TV card to the blue plug in the, in the uh, computer itself. Uh, because the green is sound out from the TV card going into the sound in port on the PC. So there should be a little cable doing that. And then the um, cable itself should be plugged in, into this one, the one closest to the yellow one. This is where the, the TV cable gets plugged into. So you need to make sure you have it on the right one or it will not work. So this is the easy TV card. When you're looking at this and you know that you have the Easy TV card, the next thing you'll do is go to the control panel and make sure that it's got the right drivers installed. If it's got the right drivers installed, you should see this in the control panel under the device manager. We should see in the device man manager under sound, video, and game controller, Easy TV MPEG, WMD. TV Tuner, Easy TV MPEG. Okay, so look for the words Easy TV. If you've got that twice for the video capture part of the card and the video in the TV Tuner part of the card, then you know you've got the right drivers. If you've got anything else installed, then you need to go through the process of choosing the correct drivers. Now, um, that's the, the subject of a different video that I've got, but um, this is the first thing you need to look at is to make sure you've got the right drivers for the Easy TV card. The next kind of card we've got uh, looks very similar to the one you're going to see just after this. They're both Philips TV cards. Um, they only have one plug here, uh, and that's the one the TV goes into. Uh, the difference in this one that none of these plugs are colored on this one whereas on the next one you're going to see that the plugs are colored. So this is the one, this is the next card that we got. None of them are colored and you should see the cable goes in to the middle one right here. That's one that should be green. Goes in the middle one right here. That's the sound out port and that goes into the blue one on the back of the PC. If the correct drivers are installed on this one, it should look like this, and it should say TV Capture Card WMD. TV Capture Card WMD. Now, you'll notice that this one and the one prior both said um, WMD, but this one said Easy TV WMD. Okay, this one's the old one said Easy TV, and this one just says TV Capture Card WMD. DM, I'm sorry, WDM, um, on there. So that is what I should see, W the just TV capture card, WDM TV tuner, if I've got this card, one video or one TV plug and all black plugs on there. The last one we've got looks very similar. It's made by the same manufacturer, uh, and it's this one. The difference is, it, although it looks the same, it has the same logo on there, it has one plug, you can tell the difference because this one has colored plugs on the black back. Again, green, there should be a small audio cable going from the green here on the TV card to the blue on the PC, not to this blue, to the blue on the PC. And this is the third kind of card that we have. And if this one is installed correctly, then we should see uh, the um, control panel should look like, open should look like this, and this one says SAA7130 TV card, okay? So those are the three different things that we should see if the TV card is installed correctly. If it's not installed correctly, then you need to follow the next video on how to pick the drivers and get the right drivers installed for the TV card um, that you've got.